Hey folks, Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead. I just thought I'd give you a little update on my gardens. <laughs> well, my cantaloupe, I'm going to show you. It's a little bit strange looking though. I don't know if it's because of the of the uh, bag being on it, but it looks like it's got one side bigger than the other. <laughs> oh well, as long as it eats, right? It, as long as it tastes good. I see other little melons on here, but they are yellow and I know they're gonna fall off. So let me show you. So this is the melon. It is growing and doing nicely, but over here is another little yellow one that's going to fall off. And there's one that's fixing to open up to bloom and Hopefully it'll it'll get uh, um, seeded. So there is one right here, and hopefully it will be all right. Now my grandson, not knowing, has been harvesting these little flowers and bring them to Nana, and I did not know where he was getting them from. So oh, there's another one, hot diggity dog. I might have oh there's two more so there's more melons on here if they hang on I don't know we'll see but uh, oh, my grandson <laughs> as sweet as he is is always bringing me flowers he does not know not to pull them I've told him over and over again don't pull my flowers but he still brings my roses in and still brings stuff in. Can't remember. I think those are uh, uh, cucumbers, but they could be Kajari melons too. I can't remember. Those are um, spinach, which don't look so hot. You would think that they would do good, but they seem to be just like not, they've gotten to that size and they're just not doing anything. But I don't know, we'll see. You can see how scrawny they look for, for um, spinach. They should be much better. Anyways, over here is the carrots. They're looking fantabulous. And so is the, um, radishes <laughs> so and looky here I have another <clears throat> little volunteer tomato and I'll be keeping that one I'm not even going to move it because this was the bed that had all the delicious little uh, <coughs> red grape tomatoes I think over here is the uh, lettuce that I transferred over to here and a few little carrots are popping up finally so that's pretty good the tomatoes and I m moved to the end you would think would be doing better and growing faster but not they in fact, they look kind of yellow. So, I don't know what's going on there. And something, something is making these little uh, hole, not a hole hole, but a divot or something, whatever you want to call it, into the ground. I don't know what's going on with that. These tomatoes over here are looking much better than the ones on the other end. And my lettuce is getting bigger. That's one of my favorites, that red. Anyways. Now, I'll take you over and show you the other one. Oh, and I have to say, that grapefruit that I pulled, mm-mm-mm. I shared it with my little Lancy Poo, and he ate every bit of it. He really, really loved it, so... That was pretty good. And, um, 
let's see here. I still have uh, a lemon on there, right there, and that other fruit, um, sapodilla, that isn't ready yet. I want to get this into the ground. It's got some tender leaves on it before it gets cool. It never gets cold here, but it does get a little cool. So, the grandbaby has been out here messing around with a lot of stuff. He's got my... These go in the garden. He's got them strode out playing with them. But he went home. I need to get that Rosa Sharon in the, in the, in the ground too. But look at all this. Look how beautiful that, that salad is. I can harvest some of that and uh, still have plenty, right? So what I'm going to do is uh, harvest that as I need it and leave it there, I guess. I wish I could find somewhere else to put some. I may even, I even, may even go over there and put some more into that bed over there. Um, finally, the uh, uh, eggplant that I put on the end there is coming up. You can see that. So, anyways, and it looks like, I don't know if this is going to make it or not. I can't really tell. I'm hoping it does. But I've got to get some more. I'm going to take uh, several more, if I can, over to uh, Sherry. Now, this is the bed that I'm getting all the Cernum cherries out of. So I need to keep digging those up. And looky here. There are tomatoes on this, and I'm hoping that they're a nice tomato. I'm not sure exactly what kind this is, but it's got tomatoes on it down underneath there, too. I don't see any of them ripe yet. I got some bush beans in here, and... Uh, I need to find my um, black-eyed peas and get them in the ground, too, but I don't know. I don't know what I did with them. I gotta look through my seeds again. So this is my um, pawpaw that sprung back. I guess it didn't like to be planted into the ground, although there is still a little piece there that might spring out another one I don't know I hope so but this one over here is not looking that fantastic it is um, drying up so I don't know what's going on with them I don't know if I'll if I'll get to save them or not but I still have the seeds so I'm going to try to grow the seeds, too, and put a couple more out here. I don't know if I showed you, but I cut that uh, elderberry way back so that um, everything back here would get some, some good uh, sunlight for now because there was barely any there. And... Everything over here is looking really good. It's growing up much quicker. But again, all these stinking little holes that are driving me crazy. I don't know what's going on in there. I imagine it's probably a cat or something in there. But it just makes me so 
so angry. I don't understand. Why out of all the places in the world do they have to get is in my is in my flower bed. I'm not sure what this one is. Hmm. Looks like some type of bean. There's another one there. And another one over there. I don't know. Anyways. Tomatoes are finally grown a little bit. These on this side. Not so much. So. It's supposed to rain. Hopefully. We'll get some rain. And I still have a couple of uh, sugar apples in there to put in pots. And I think that's one there in the corner. So this was very, very sad for me to come out here and find that my grandson had let the chickens out. And they got up in my compost bin and literally dug up every stinking tomato plant that I had in here and killed them. That was sad. So I still have about three or four chickens that I've got to catch and put back into the pen. <sighs> it is what it is. But see the holes that they've already dug? It infuriates me. So I've got to catch these girls tonight when it's time to uh, go to sleep. They will find themselves a little place and mama will put them down to bed. Oh. See them? There's two of them, and the other two are the silkies. But the good part is, is they're out there eating stuff, and they've been underneath here eating all the food that the quail have dropped. So I guess there's a good thing to it. But those two are a pain in the ruckus. <laughs> so everything in here is looking pretty fine. And I got some more uh, purslane to harvest here. That one's not quite ready, I don't think. But these two are. If I can get it off of there. Well, hang on. So my patty pan plants have still survived. I mean, they're sickly looking, but they've still survived. And this is the uh, comfrey that I pulled up over there. And it is looking like it's a little happier. So I am going to harvest a branch of this uh, peppermint. I'm going to make it, put it in my tea. See how I like that. Pretty sure I'll like it. I like peppermint. Uh, I, it might be, it might be time to start pulling these up. Uh, these are my, um, what do you call them? Garlics. This is not garlic. And that's the basil that I don't care that much for. And boy, I'm telling you, these weeds is popping overnight. And they grow really fast. These are basil plants that I'm pulling up to. So.
It is what it is. My two little tomato plants are looking pretty good. And I'm hoping that this is peppermint coming back in these um, planters, but I will probably almost bet you that it's basil. Because <laughs> you know all them basil plants is there. And I think that's probably what it is. And here is peppermint that is uh, flowering. So, and more basil. And I need to take this one down, but there's so many flowers on it for the bees. I just hate to do that. But there's some right behind it growing. I should probably just leave it. I don't know. I can't make up my mind. But you can see there's not many seeds coming out of this now. They've already dropped all their seeds, pretty much the ones that are that are brown and spent. And <laughs> the bean, the famous uh, bean of my yard that we have found that we love so much um, has is growing over into this plant. So I need to get that out. Lord have mercy. I better let you go so I can untwine that. Okay, so I uh, twisted that up in the lattice here, but check this out. There's something that has eaten up the thing, leaf, and it's left its eggs. I don't know what that is. Alright, y'all can laugh now. Remember me showing you this, what I thought was a, a seed pod? <laughs> it was the flower pod. Go figure. Now I've been growing these all this time and I knew that it was a flower pod. I don't know what I was thinking. Too funny, right? So, the papayas are growing beautifully. She got my toe. Turkey. The dog stepped on my foot and then took off running because she hears them working on something with water next door. She's going to start growling and carrying on. But anyways, this one over here is not doing so great. I've already taken off two. Should probably take this one off too. See how it's uh, spending. So what I'll do is I'll take those and chop them up and give them to the chickens. I open them up. I let the go, them go ahead and start getting their larvae in there. And at least it's good for the chickens, right? But I would really, really, really love to have uh, papayas and they're beautiful. But See how they've been stung? They won't make it. <laughs> as soon as they start to get ripe, you'll see all the damage that these things are causing. But they're still beautiful, so I leave them. All the way up there. gorgeous plant. I love I love the way they look. I love the way they taste. Uh, I don't need a whole lot of them though. One of these days I'm going to try to make something with them green because they tell me that uh, they make um, something. I don't can't remember if they said cold slaw or something out of them. I got some more beans today. So, these are slowing down. I may end up having to pull them off, but they give me a pretty good harvest a few times on there. And that's only one plant, so this plant over here has not done that well. 
but it's still kind of green. So, I don't know. I may keep it around. I don't know. And that's ready. So, there you have it. So, I don't know what that is. Some type of bee or wasp or something.